Wollaston in 1914. The 1911 census of Wollaston records a population of 806. The census of 2011 records a population of 2,810. In 1911, the census records that more than half of the buildings were farm buildings. The single line railway had opened in 1866. The station master lived in the house which was part of the station. The railway brought goods to the village and porters then delivered the goods to people's homes or businesses. The school was a sandstone building standing on land that is now part of the village green. At harvest time the school closed so that children could help with the harvest. The Red Lion was a public house next to the village green. There was no chemist shop and the doctor came from Neston. Not all the men had the vote in 1914. Certainly no women had the vote. There was a parish council and Williston was part of Wirral Rural District Council. In the course of the war, 148 men are recorded as serving in the armed forces. Of these, 34 are recorded on the war memorial. In addition, a further two Williston servicemen were casualties and are buried in the churchyard. The first casualty was Lieutenant Lonsdale. He died of wounds on the 29th of October 1914. The Birkenhead News records that the, co the coffin arrived on the 31st of October at Houghton Station prior to burial in the Wollaston churchyard. A group of Neston sixth form students visited Eton College in June 2014 to study the relevant archives relating to Lieutenant Lonsdale. There they saw the verbatim records of the House debates in which Lonsdale had participated in 1911. Because it was realised that public morale would be solely tested by the arrival back home of so many of the fallen, it was decided not to bring them with the exception of those transferred to hospitals in the UK where they had subsequently died. The fallen came from a range of social and economic backgrounds. The officers had attended prestigious public schools such as Eton College and Oundle School, while many of the privates had attended the village school. The lower ranks enlisted mainly in local regiments such as the King's Liverpool and the Cheshire Regiment. Officers often joined regiments linked to their school army cadet corps. They all experienced the horrors of war, fighting in battles such as the Somme and Ypres. Many were buried or commemorated far from Williston. Memorials in Basra, Palestine, France, Belgium, Iraq and Germany list Williston casualties. Indeed, it was at the Somme that Gerald Dawson lost his life. Frederick Wainwright perished at Ypres. He is referred to in the Scout's poem. He had enrolled at Williston School in 1904. John Pritchard, who had lived at Weatherstone's cottages, died of wounds received at Hodge, Belgium, aged 27, and is buried at Ypres, Etapes Military Cemetery, France. John Pollard is remembered on the Basra War Memorial, Iraq having died of wounds while a prisoner of war. He was one of 40,681 who died in operation in Mesopotamia between autumn 1914 and the end of August 1921.
their graves are not known. Williston War Memorial Thomas Lonsdale, father of Lieutenant Lonsdale, was very active in raising funds to build, to build the Williston War Memorial and was one of the speakers when it was formally unveiled. The War Memorial was unveiled in late February 1921 by the Commander-in-Chief of Western Command, General Sir H. Devore de Lisi. Every family in Britain was affected by the war. Many had lost sons, fathers, brothers and other family members, returned physically disabled, some exhibiting shell shock, nowadays known as post-traumatic stress disorder. Indeed, those returning were not the same men who had gone off so optimistically to war. Families had to live with the consequences of war. For everybody, the world had changed, especially for women, many of, un of whom had undertaken employment during the war, which previously was considered only suitable for men. The First World War marked the start of the decline of Britain as a great power.